average Joe person doesn't, if insurance is not something that's high on people's list. You know, they need it, but I'll get around to it. Uh, if I am in the market to buy insurance, can you tell me questions? I know people look at you guys, you salespeople, right? That's the stigma. That's the reputation. And insurance, it, it represents bad things. But from the other side, what do you suggest whether people go with your agency or with anybody's? What questions should we be asking? You know, off the top of my head, I, I would think is how much insurance do I need? I think that that's a, a fair question to ask somebody in your position um, and have you break it down. Are there, are there a top three or top five questions that you suggest that anybody, whether you are a professional, whether you're making $100,000 or $100 million, what are some key questions that should be asked? Well, you know, without uh, Macy's telling Gimbals how to be successful, <laughs> I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you the Reader's Digest answer. You know, you have to, every case, like I stated before, is a, every uh, potential client is a case by case. So what your needs are may be different to what my needs are. Your concerns are different than my concerns. And at the end of the day, it, it all comes down to pricing and product. Are you getting the right product for the right price? And what I mean by that is, you know, I have this bottle of uh, Arizona iced tea water here. If this goes for a dollar, why am I going to get another company with the same size bottle? Why am I going to pay $3 for it when I could pay a dollar for this one? Those are some of the questions that, <laughs> those are some of the things that need to be concerns and also asks. Why are you, why are you recommending this one? when I can have this one, you know, the, and you have to really, I always tell people your accountant is always one of the best resources for you to ask questions because your accountant is, has, um, has an unbiased opinion. Mm -hmm. In most cases, not all cases, because some accountants do sell insurance, but we always tell everybody separate everything. Because when you have one gatekeeper, that gatekeeper can't fire themselves if they lose your money or they make a bad mistake. When you surround yourself with a circle of people like an insurance guy, an accountant, a financial advisor, um, then you're, everyone looks over everyone's shoulder, everyone's in tune, and it, it consists of a little bit of work. It doesn't matter what size money you or business you have or whatnot. It's just putting aside the time to focus in on that subject matter, like I said earlier, between nine and five. Am I going to focus on business or am I going to focus on my personal or am I going to focus on this? You got to take the time to really evaluate and review your things. And one mistake that a lot of people make is you bought, let's just say you bought a simple insurance policy 10 years ago. You throw it under your bed, you throw it in your office desk, you put it wherever you keep your paperwork and you don't look at it. Well, we review policies all the time because policies are changing, products are changing, laws are changing. You know, uh, maybe you don't know this, but you know, women, when the women, if you get two people, a man and a woman, both the same age, the price of a woman is much cheaper than a man. And the reason why is women outlive men. Secondly, the actuarial uh, tables, numbers, a couple of years ago, they were changed. They were made higher because people are living longer. So those are changes. Those are things that our office stays in tune with. We let the clients know. We review all the time. And, and you have to be willing to review and listen because you can make changes that are cost 
beneficial to you as the consumer. You might be paying $10 or something. Then I can come back to you and say, Hey, we could do the same thing for seven. Mm -hmm. And you're like, wow, really? Well, my guy didn't, that's right. Because what happens is a lot of people, once they buy something, they put it away. And the salesperson that made the sale, they're just happy they made the sale and they're getting a residual from it. That's not what we're about. We, uh, we, we try to educate the clients and stay in tune and show where there's mistakes and make improvements on those mistakes. Understood. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.